Welcome to my channel. Do subscribe. For today's project, we we'll need some yarn, stitch marker, a crochet hook. I'm using a 3 mm crochet hook, yarn needle, pair of scissors, and some stuffing. So let's start a project. So we'll start by making a magic ring. So chain 1 and make 6 single crochets in the magic circle. Starting with round 2, make 1 single crochet in the first stitch, place your stitch marker and make another single crochet in the same stitch. This is an increase. Now make 2 single crochets in each stitch. That means we are doing an increase in each stitch and by the end of this round you should have a total of 12 single crochets. To start the next round, remove the stitch marker and make a single crochet in the first stitch. Place your stitch marker and make another single crochet in the same space. So we're starting with an increase and then make one single crochet in the next stitch. Then make an increase which is two single crochets in the same stitch. And then a single crochet in the next one. So keep repeating this pattern which is an increase and then a single crochet. By the end of this round you should have a total of 18 single crochets. Starting the next round, remove your stitch marker and make an increase in the first stitch. Make one single crochet in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the following stitch. Repeat this pattern for the entire round which is an increase and then one single crochet and then one single crochet. So by the end of this round you should have a total of 24 single crochets. So in this round, which is round 5, we'll be doing one single crochet in each stitch. And we'll be doing this for round 6 and 7 as well. So it is one single crochet for round 5, 6 and 7. And the stitches at the end of each of these rounds will remain 24.
Starting the next round, we will make a decrease in the first two stitches. So insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You will have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Place your stitch marker. Make one single crochet in the next stitch. Make one more single crochet in the following stitch. And now repeat by making a decrease. Again one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the following stitch and we repeat this pattern for the entire row which is a decrease and then one single crochet and then one single crochet. So by the end of this round you should have a total of 18 single crochets. Starting with the next round, we will make an increase in the first stitch. So make a single crochet, place your stitch marker and make another single crochet in the same space. In the next stitch, make a single crochet and in the next stitch, make another single crochet. Repeat this pattern for the entire row making an increase and then one single crochet and one single crochet. So by the end of this round you should have a total of 24 single crochets. Moving on to round 10, make an increase in the first stitch, now make 3 single crochets in the next 3 stitches, 1, 2 and 3. Now repeat this making an increase in the next stitch. And then 3 single crochets in the next 3 stitches. By the end of this round you should have a total of 30 single crochets. Starting round 11 we will make 1 single crochet in each stitch. And we will follow the same pattern for round 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So for all these rounds we are doing 1 single crochet in each stitch. And the stitch count at the end of each round will remain 30. Starting round 17, make a decrease in the first stitch. So insert the hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have 3 loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. Now make 8 single crochets in the next 8 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now make a decrease in the next 2 stitches. Now continue making 18 single crochets. 
and by the end of this round you should have a total of 28 single crochets. Starting with round 18, make a decrease in the first 2 stitches. Place your stitch marker and now make 6 single crochets in the next 6 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now in the next two stitches make a decrease. Now make 18 single crochets in the next 18 stitches. By the end of this round you should have a total of 26 single crochets. Starting with round 19, make a decrease in the first 2 stitches. Place your stitch marker and now make 4 single crochets in the next 4 stitches. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now make a decrease in the next 2 stitches. Make 18 single crochets in the next 18 stitches. By the end of this round you should have a total of 24 single crochets. Starting round 20, make a decrease in the first 2 stitches. Place your stitch marker, now make 2 single crochets in the next 2 stitches. 1 and 2. Now make a decrease in the next 2 stitches. Now make 18 single crochets in the next 18 stitches. By the end of this round you should have a total of 22 single crochets. Starting with round 21, make a decrease in the first 2 stitches. Place your stitch marker and now make a decrease in the next 2 stitches. Now make 18 single crochets in the next 18 stitches. By the end of this round you should have a total of 20 single crochets. Starting with round 22, make a decrease in the first 2 stitches. Place your stitch marker and now make 16 single crochets.
Make a decrease in the last two stitches. By the end of this round you should have a total of 18 single crochets. Starting with round 23 make a decrease in the first two stitches. Place your stitch marker and make another decrease in the next two stitches. Now work 10 single crochets in the next 10 stitches. Make a decrease in the next 2 stitches. Make another decrease in the last 2 stitches. By the end of this round you should have a total of 14 single crochets. Starting with round 24, make a decrease in the first 2 stitches. Place your stitch marker and make another decrease in the next 2 stitches. Now make 6 single crochets in the next 6 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now make a decrease in the next 2 stitches. Now make another decrease in the last 2 stitches and by the end of this round you should have a total of 10 single crochets. Now you can cut off the yarn over here if you like but I am going to make a slip stitch and chain 1. Cut off the extra yarn and pull through but don't weave in as yet. Now take your stuffing and push it through the gap. I use the back of a pencil to help me push it in. Make sure it is stuffed properly. Now we'll start our work on the wings. So we'll start with the magic ring. Once your magic ring is ready, make 6 single crochets Starting with the next round, make an increase in the first stitch That is making 2 single crochets in the same space So this is one, place your stitch marker and make another one in the same space. Now make an increase in the next stitch. Now make one single crochet in the next stitch. Again make an increase in the next stitch and another increase in the next stitch. Now make one single crochet in the last stitch. Starting with round 3, make a single crochet in the first stitch. Place your stitch marker. Now make an increase in the next stitch. So this is two single crochets in the same space. Now make another increase in the next stitch.
Now make 3 single crochets in the next 3 stitches. So 1, 2 and 3. Now make an increase in the next stitch. Made a, make another increase in the next stitch. And now make 2 single crochets in the next 2 stitches. So this is 1 and 2. Starting with round 4, make 2 single crochets in the next 2 stitches. So 1, place the stitch marker and the second one in the next stitch. Now make an increase in the next stitch. Now make another increase in the following stitch. Now make 5 single crochets in the next 5 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now make an increase in the next stitch. Make another increase in the following stitch. Now make 3 single crochets in the last 3 stitches. 1, 2, and 3. Remove your stitch marker and make 4 single crochets in the next 4 stitches. One, two, three, and 4. Now chain 8. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one and turn your work. Now make eight single crochets on the back of this chain. Now make a slip stitch so that it is connected to the main part. Now without chaining, turn your work and make 7 single crochets. Chain 1 and turn your work. Now make 7 single crochets until you reach the main part. Slip stitch to the main part. 
and turn your work. Now make 5 single crochets. Chain 1, turn your work and make 5 single crochets. Slip stitch to the main part. And turn your work. Now make 3 single crochets. 1, 2, 3. Chain 1 and turn your work. Now make 3 single crochets. 1, 2, And three slip stitch to the main part and turn your work. Now make one single crochet, chain one. And turn your work. Make one single crochet and slip stitch to the main part. Cut off your yarn and your wing is ready. Working on the other wing is similar to the first one except when you chain 8, here chain 9 and when you come to slip stitch to the main part, twist your work so that the slip stitch is on the other side. Then work in the same pattern and keep check that it is coming up to look like a mirror image of the first wing. If it doesn't come up right in the first attempt, try again and you'll get it right hopefully. It took me 2 tries so just keep hope. I am going to fast forward the working for this wing but you can watch it by decreasing the playback speed and see how it's worked.
So once your wing is ready, put it next to the first one and they should look something like this. To form the tail, start with a slip knot and chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Now chain 1 and turn your work. For the first row, make one single crochet in each stitch. chain 1 and turn your work. Now for the next row, make 4 single crochets, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now make 4 double crochets, Now make 4 treble crochets for this yarn over twice. Go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over and again pull through 2. So this is your first treble crochet. Now make 3 more treble crochets. This is your second. Third and last one. Now make chain 3 and turn your work. Now yarn twice and go into the first stitch making one treble crochet. Make two more treble crochets. This is the third treble crochet. Now make four double crochets. Two, three, four. Now make five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain 1 and turn your work. Now make 12 single crochets. Now we'll be working on the side of our work. So yarn over twice and go in the space on the side and make a treble crochet. You have to make 6 treble crochets. Here 
Here you can see the center of your tail. So make a slip stitch over here. Now make 6 treble crochets on the other side of your tail. Now slip stitch on the side of your work. So the tail is ready and this is how it will look like. Cut off the extra yarn. Now weave in the end thread of the tail. The yarn on the other side will be used to attach the tail to the body of the bird. Now attach the tail to the body of the bird, make sure you are attaching it to the right side. So the bump is the stomach of the bird which is going to be the bottom side. So press the opening diagonally and here your tail is going to be attached. So make sure you weave in all the ends and you close all the gaps. Now it's time to attach the wings to your bird. Just take your time and attach them the way you want them on your bird. So a bird here is nearly ready. It's time to attach the beak and the feet. So take a yarn of your choice. I'm using a gray yarn and I'm using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. Insert the hook where you want the mouth to be, sorry the beak to be and pull up a loop. Insert the hook again in another place and then pull up another loop. This might take a while so be patient. Yarn over and pull through both loops. You have your first single crochet. Now make six similar single crochets moving in a circular direction. Once you have your six single crochets ready, slip stitch into the first one chain 1 and make 3 decreases.
It stopped recording and I didn't realize. So all I did was complete the decreases and cut off the yarn. Pull to tighten the beak tip and weave in the ends. Now it's time to make the feet. So insert your hook, take the yarn, pull it through. Insert the hook next to it. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. This is your first single crochet. Now make another single crochet. Chain one and turn your work. I'm sorry I'm out of the frame but all I did here was made two more single crochets on the top of the two single crochets I just made. Cut off the yarn and weave in the ends. Now make the second foot in the same way. Make two single crochets next to the first foot. I'm sorry I'm again out of the frame. Make two single crochets, chain one, turn your work and make two single crochets on top of those single crochets and then cut off the yarn, weave in the ends and the feet are ready. Hope you liked the video, like and subscribe, thanks for watching.